Hi! In this video, you will learn about the progressor group. It's a special component that shows you the progress of several progressors. Let's go! In order to use a progressor group, you need at least two progressors. Let's create a progressor group. So, Doozy, Progress, Progressor Group. If you haven't watched the progressor video, please do that now in order to understand how this works. Let's also add at least two progress bars and let's create them. So, I'm going to create an empty game object and I'll say progress bar one. Let's also give it a size, let's say 512 by uh, actually 2000. Ah, it's a bit much, 1000, 150 and yeah 150 okay so this will be our progress bar this is the main game object and now i need a background and a bar so two images this will be my background let's set it to fill the area and let's set it to a black something like that a dark gray and i also need a bar and let's set a color for it let's say a dark red and now i need to be able to fill it so I'm going to set a sprite, let's select a simple, simple sprite, a square, and set its image type to build. And here I'm going to say horizontal. So now I have a single progress, a simple progress bar. Let's also make it a bit brighter. Yeah. So now I have a progress bar. This is number one. Let's also add a value so we can see exactly what the, the progress is. So let's add a text mesh pro. This is just some uh, eye candy. Let's put it in the middle, actually. And uh, yeah, let's center it and let's make it yeah, like so. And this would be my progress. And uh, nah, let's add a progress target image for this particular component. And here, let's add a progress target text mesh pro and then set it to use multiplier. And now all we need is a progressor. So. Let's add a progressor. Let's add some progress targets. So the bar and the text. And believe it or not, now you have a functional progress bar. Yeah, there you go. Let's uh, set it to 50% and let's create two more. Actually, three more. One, two, three. Two, three, and four. So we have four progress bars. Let's uh, put them like that. They're a bit uh, big, but yeah okay so now i have four progress bars let's uh, change the color so that we have a we can see them a bit better progress bar two progress bar three and progress bar four all right so now we have four progress bars let's enter play mode and you will see that they can all be changed they'll, they'll reset to zero because that's the, what their progressor is set to do so at start it will uh, reset the value to zero so if i update it they're all independent they have they, they do not know one about the other now let's say i want to know the progress the total progress for all these progressors well that's where the progressor group comes into play and let's create a progress bar that shows us the progress the total progress for all of our progressors let's say you're um, copying 5000 files you want to know what's the the progress of the copy state or whatever you're loading and let's do just that let's delete this let's create one more progress bar and let's make it a bit bigger and this will be our uh, the most important part our progress bar zero let's say and this will show you the progress of all of our other progress bars let's change the color it's really very easy once you understand how it works and let's set it uh let's say white maybe or a gray something like that an orange yeah an orange okay so now we have a progressor that will animate this let's add a uh, where is it to the progress a progressor a progressor group and let's add our four bars one two three and four so one the red one two, three, and four. Notice that you already see here the, their, their current progress, 50%. Yeah? And now when we enter play mode, you will see that this will get updated. 
this will get set to zero it, and, and it will not show anything but let's set this to i don't know 80 percent and here our progressor group knows that this is at 80 percent let's set this at 20 percent so progress bar two so 20 percent again you will see here 20 percent now how can i update it update this so i know that this is when this is 100 percent this is 25 25 25 25 so let's check it out let's uh, say on progress changed update my progress bar zero and here we select progressor and in the dynamic plot i set set progress and that's it now i have a progressor that shows the the value of the other progressors check it out so when this is at 100 percent, this will be 25 percent 25 let's go out to 50 and there you go that's how it works now how about we do some uh, animations with it because this is a very powerful component let's say i want my i want this bar to get animated in 0.5 seconds whenever the value changes so check it out and now it's animated let's also animate these so let's say animate in one second animate in two seconds animate in three seconds and let's say this animate in 10 seconds and check it out so one second animation let's uh this is a two second animation so again two this is a three second animation oh this is not animated <laughs> Let's set it to, I don't know, 20 second animation. And let's set here, let's say one, that value. And here, let's say again, one, and set actually zero, and set value. And check it out, you're animating this, and this updates right there. Yeah. So this is what a progressor group does. Let's animate this to one set value and this one to the value zero okay and let's check it out and check out how the values change yeah so this is the total progress of these progressors in this case i have four but what if i have only two well i can remove those so let's remove them and now i have 100 and 100 percent i'm only using the first two bars Let's set this to zero, 50%, and this to zero again. There you go. Let's not animate, and let's go a bit faster. And again, let's not animate, let's go a bit faster. And let's, let's not animate this, so it's an instant update. Check it out. Inter re really connected. If you want to learn more about how the progressor group works, you just click the manual link here and its page will open and here you can see some examples explained in even you can even understand the formula how it is calculated so yeah you can check it out it's really very very easy and uh, yeah that's it for the progressor group thank you